people welcome back to my channel so I'm gonna be doing my college and dorm essentials so it's gonna be combined um these are the things that I find most important and I watched quite a few of the videos where um where people did theirs and their versions of them and I didn't really you know I couldn't really get with it but you know so let's go ahead and get started the first thing that is on my dorm essentials list is that you need a power surger um I have about three in my kitchen area there isn't any plugs so but there is a plug behind the refrigerator and only one of those plugs was being used so I plugged up a power surger behind my fridge and I used like putty and I stuck it to the wall so I can plug up my coffee pot by the um in the kitchen area or my crock pot or my blender in the kitchen you know just so that stuff and I know I never use it at the same time so this guy named Chase Rogers he contacted me and he offered to send me this surger called a bed power and it's their 2.2.0 version I was like cool okay and basically the new version allows you to clip the surger to your bed but my favorite part about this surger is that it has the cord is long so wherever you need to put it you got access it has two usb ports it has two of the three prong like outlets so you're good for that as well and i love it because it just attaches to my bed but yeah guys i charge my phone with this thing i charge my um my bluetooth speaker you know through the usb port it works out and i love it so guys if you use the code tommy marie right here you can get the bed power 2.0 for 50% off so go ahead and check it out and the next thing that I think is an essential for some was not an essential for me but it almost was you might want to get you a fan or you may want to get you a heater depending on if you're hot natured or cold natured but the thermostat in the room only controls the whole room so you can't change the temperature of just your room so you might want to get a fan or a heater just so you can be more comfortable because when you're living with other people you have to adjust and adapt and you might not like the fact that they keep the air on 68. I mean I'm the type of person I like the air on 68 but I'll bundle up under my blanket because I'll be cold. The third thing that I think is essential is a rolling laundry cart and it wasn't essential until recently y'all like for I'm gonna be a junior in the fall and I've been struggling carrying my laundry basket upstairs with my laundry detergent and my bleach in there for two years and I'm like, I'm tired of this. This is so heavy. Then I'd be struggling trying to open a door holding this. I bought one from Walmart.com and I went to the store and picked it up. And y'all, it is the best thing in life, okay? It was 1288 on Walmart.com. I even wrote a review. So if you go in there and you see a review for it, that was me. <laughs> I wrote that review because it's amazing. It's amazing, y'all. I don't know why I struggled for so long. Now the next thing I think is essential is an HDMI cord. And me and my friends, we connect the we connect one of our laptops to the um, TV, and we watch Netflix. We watch movies on there. When school was in, me and my friends did Thursday night movies, and y'all, this HDMI cord was life, life, y'all. Y'all need this, okay? Get you an HDMI cord super simple the next thing that i think is essential is a full length mirror girl i got two i have one right here and i have one over there i think a full length mirror is essential before you walk out the door you want to check your outfit out you want to make sure you're looking good because you don't want to walk outside looking crazy okay so get your full length mirror they're like five dollars at walmart the next thing that i think is essential is a laptop you're definitely gonna need this which i think is self-explanatory this entertains you and it's functional i mean i write papers on it you can do work in the comfort of your own space at your own in your dorm and everything like that i take my laptop to class i take notes with it the next Next thing that I think is essential is a crock pot. If you guys are new to my channel, then you don't know that I cook lots of things in a crock pot. Um, I have some videos on my channel where I cook stuff in crock pots. Like the best college food is cooked in a crock pot. Um, Rotel, meatballs, beef tips and rice. I did beef and broccoli. Y'all get you a crock pot they're only like ten dollars at walmart so they're really not even expensive me and my friends have like little parties and stuff where we cook food and everybody brings the food to someone's room and that's where you meet up and eat and stuff my next essential is a planner you definitely don't need one this big but my planner is everything to me when school is in i've done a video about planning already but 
Planning helps me keep up with everything, especially in college when you have so much going on. Teachers will have tests on the same day, and if you walk in not knowing it's a test, you're gonna be looking stupid because it ain't no, I didn't know in college, it's oh, oh well. Either consider a planner or a dry erase board which you can write important dates on, something where you can just keep up with your life because. The next thing that I think is essential is Netflix. I think everybody knows this, I'm lucky enough to have the privilege of using my best friend's Netflix account. Netflix or Hulu, pick you one and get it because it's essential because really I don't watch much TV. I only cut it on at night. To be honest, I would be fine without a TV because I got Netflix. So consider it's only what, $7.99 a month? But yeah, Netflix. <laughs> the next thing that I think is essential is a lamp. Think about it, when your roommate's ready to go to sleep and then she gets an attitude because you still got the light on and she's like, I'm trying to sleep. And you like, well, I'm trying to study, but if you got a lamp, you're okay, you're good. Sometimes I don't want my whole bedroom light on, so I'll cut on my lights from on my tapestry and I'll cut on my lamp and it's the perfect amount of light but if you don't have a lamp you don't have that privilege so get you a lamp. <laughs> the next thing is for going to classes and stuff like that so I definitely recommend you guys you need an umbrella or a rain jacket get a dome umbrella they don't blow in the wind get a nice rain jacket y'all like one of those north face ones or whoever makes them get one of those. This is freezing in these college classrooms and if you get soaked you'll probably catch pneumonia within the hour that you're in class don't even chance it y'all just get an umbrella okay my next essential for hanging things on the wall hanging hooks you know putting up mirrors pictures and all of that everything that you see in my room is pretty much hung up with command strips clothes pins my tapestry is hung with clothes pins and hot glue. I do hot glue because hot glue easily comes off the wall. But for pictures and stuff, I use command products. So you can see over here, I have a whole lot of pictures over there. And there's more, another row up there. But what do you guys think are essential? So if I love anything out, please leave it down below because y'all, we have incoming freshmen and they need to know what they need to get, okay? I tried my best with this list and it was kind of different, I felt, from a lot of people's. I'm trying to tell you the deep stuff that no one tells you. But yeah, anyways, that is the end of the video. That is the end. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Anyways guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned a few tips. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who's going to college. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!